Why is additive manufacturing so seldomly used in end-use production? With all the advantages it offers, it's surprising that more parts aren't made this way. While many obstacles are organizational, and there is a lot of unrealized potential, there are still technical obstacles to widespread adoption. One of the largest obstacles, at least for the polymers, is the lack of a high-quality surface finish. However, this is quickly changing with the introduction of automated post-processing technologies. While HP multi-jet fusion parts look great as printed, it's possible to make them look even better with post-processing. While many technologies for automated post-processing of polymer parts exist, vapor smoothing stands out amongst them as a cost-effective, simple, and effective option. Additive Manufacturing Technologies, or AMT, offer vapor smoothing capabilities with their PostPro 3D machines. These machines smooth the parts by spraying them with a vaporized solvent that reorders the surface molecules without affecting the overall part dimensions. We decided to vapor smooth our parts for a few reasons. Since our parts would be exposed to water and 3D printed parts are porous, vapor smoothing sealed the pores on the surface of our parts, leaving them more protected from moisture ingression. Since nylon is hydroscopic, this was especially important. In addition to the functional benefits of vapor smoothing, it simply looked better. The smooth, glossy finish matched what you would expect from an injection molded part. Now that we've produced and assembled our bindings, we're finally ready to test them on the mountain. And man, do they look and feel great. They really do. Now, for those of you who followed the journey from the beginning, I'm sure you're excited to see these actually riding on the mountain. Click on the link below to sign up and see the completion of this journey and watch any of the videos that you've missed so far.